Okay, I got tired, so this video will suck. Good start, right? But, so let's see. I'm going to talk about some things first, but then later I will talk about this uh, judgment, okay? If you want to, you can click skip intro and you go directly to that, okay? First of all, I'll talk about this. Um, yeah, I was supposed to talk about the comment. I'm not going to do that because I'm too confused right now. Um, all I'm saying is that I looked at these cards. I noticed that it starts with the fool and it ends with the world. So the zero card is the fool and the last card is the world. And I'm also going to talk about the, the judgment card which is the second last card. Do you see it? Second to the right at the bottom. It's the judgment card. Uh, so, yeah. So, what I realized is that the fool and the world reminds of this quote that says um, I am the Alpha and the Omega, you know, I am the beginning and the end, and that's a quote that has to do with Jesus, okay, you remember that, so what's funny here is that the world card, oh no, the world card is the same, same image as Jesus, this is actually how the world card looks on most of the decks, you know, it's going to look like this. And funnily, funnily enough, it looks like, um, like Jesus, you see? This Jesus art, even with the same uh, corner, you know, there's a lion, there's a, a bull, there's a, some bird, and there's a human at, at, at the corners. I find that fascinating. So, if you look at this at the same time, yeah. There is this. Uh, and so what I'm thinking here is that the because I already saw a connection between the clown and the moon um, lunatic I and mean, the monkey, the clown and the monkey, the moon key. There is a relation between them. And so if something is both the beginning and the end, it's like the merger, the merge of them. They, uh, together they become this perfect being, you know, but separated they are uh, the clown and the um, lunatic, you know, and, and the, yeah, you see. Um, I just find that interesting that there is this this idea that they came up with with hypersanity actually and this dualism here actually somehow connects to the tarot tarot deck that's what i wanted to say yeah and so now to the judgment talk i noticed something big here which I have to mention. And that's this card. Do you, do you see what I see? It's not it's not obvious, okay? But you can see the card to, to the right. It's one typical card of the judgment, which is a phoenix. Uh, but most often it's with this England flag. And if you look at all the cards, you'll see that, no, there's only one card that has the flag you see there's no other card that has you know, maybe the the sun card has some kind of flag but it's not it's not clear what it what kind of flag it is but this judgment card it's clear what kind of card what kind of flag it is it's it, it's uh it's, it's the england flag but yeah and um, so what I realized is that this halftime show again is 
you can see both the things going up and downs up and down you see those look like those things that they are inside you see and then you have the flag the the, the red cross you see so this this is the judgment card also i repeat the rihanna show during the halftime show was the judgment card in in the tarot deck and you can see the stage is going up and down if you look at the top you can see the stage is going up and down just like waves we're going to see that they move up now now it moves the stage it's because it, it simulates the waves of of um, of this you know why why is she on the cross you see uh, because yeah never mind about that okay what's important here is that this is one way uh, Rihanna has actually looked like this um, what is her name uh, that uh, oh sorry I uh, my my memory disappeared for a moment what is her name well wait I have to search like she has snake snake hair let's look at that uh, uh, okay <laughs> Google don't want to help me Medusa okay so Rihanna has actually looked like Medusa earlier when she did some um, like photographing as you can see here in this image amazing and, and this is the commercial for the halftime show it is with Medusa you see Medusa hair again the reason is because Poseidon uh, Poseidon um, had sex with Medusa and this is a way to um, yeah to mess with Athena as I remember another goddess okay so um, yeah I, th I think it's very interesting so, so what we have is a judgment this is a judgment okay and you can see it on the stage you can see it on, on this you see it looks it looks very similar you see I made it bigger so you realize what I'm talking about you see it's it, it's it's the same you see you should be able to see that it's very similar and uh, also the the red cross you see there's a judgment there's a huge wave with a stage going up and down and um, yeah even the clothes of the dancers are white you see it, it they they all have white clothes you see in one of the music uh, that she sings you, you can he hear some i i consider to be similar to a dolphin sound okay and that's actually not in the original music so if you look in if you listen to the entire show you're going to hear a piece of music which is different to the original music it, there are added sounds of this um, something that is different that sounds sounds a bit like dolphins to me okay um, yeah some say that Poseidon uh, raped um, this Medusa okay some say what this reminds me of is how, how dolphins do sometimes when they are going to find a mate dolphins they um, they go together they they don't uh, uh, how do you say so when it comes to other animals they will see who is the best and the best one gets the 
the woman, you know. But when it comes to dolphins, they um, sometimes band together in groups and kind of um, take that uh, dolphin together, you see, and uh, rape it, you see. That's actually what's happening uh, sometimes, as I understand. I have read uh, or, or looked a bit into this stuff, okay. So Poseidon is not only... He's acting a bit like a dolphin, Poseidon himself, when he takes uh, Medusa, just like that, uh, somewhat against her will, maybe, okay? I don't know, actually, who knows? Um, so yeah, judgment. And the stage going up and down, uh, I hope you saw it, right? I think it's, um, wait, I'll see if we can get, I mean, the, the stage is going up and down all the time. I hope you saw it. Then there is this Don't last part. Is your daughter. So this movie or this series is on Netflix. It's called, um, what was it? Um, Stone Ocean, okay, and it's a new series. It's, I think it's popular, okay. It has Green Dolphin Street in it. The, the, there is a, there's an old movie called Green Dolphin Street, and this series has a refer, reference to it. Green Dolphin Street. I have, I have made a big, um video about that a really important one which you can see on Od Odyssey it's an old video but I remember now that in this series this is actually you you should close my video down now if, if you don't want to hear what I have to say okay because I'm going to both show and tell you some stuff here so in Green Dolphin Street the the really old movie it's the first um, cat catastrophe movie out there, where, where it, it, it's, it got uh, prices for being so good at showing this catastrophe with the flooding and, and the earthquake, you know. Poseidon is not only god over the sea, but also over earthquakes. So in this series, which is called which you see on the screen right now, it's called uh, Stone Ocean. And is the in this? I'm just going to tell you now, now that. Uh, so close it down if you want to see it yourself. Um, everyone dies at the end, and they die in the water. Everyone, every single one, except for this guy with a G and a D on 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 the on the cap. Maybe that symbolizes something. Uh, but uh, GD, you know. Uh, so it's interesting. Um, so yeah, there is a flood. Everything dies except for this one person. Um, yeah, or yeah, the other, um, the main antagonist also survives, of course. And they create a new, a new universe, actually, from this. There is kind of a phoenix event in this movie. There's a phoenix event. There's a large last judgment, or judgment, you see. And he creates a new world where, yeah. I'm, I'm going to show a bit of this, and I'm going to see if that's okay. I hope so. I have speeded it up so that it maybe is okay, but I will also leave a link to that old uh, um, Odysseus recording that I did, which is about Green Dolphin Street, if you haven't seen it, so go there if you haven't seen it also. Let's look at this, uh, and it shows how everyone dies, basically, in the water. Let's see it, oh, have fun. Let's see. Hey, 
man. Jolene. I did steal a car. I was leaving school in the supermarket parking lot. There was a car. Why did I do something like that? But I know Dad's gonna come save me. He'll be here. Definitely. Dad'll be here soon. To save me. I must eliminate any obstacles in the way of my destiny. I feel no remorse for them or you, nor will I let you go free. I'll put an end to everything. But to you, young Emporio, I'm the one who killed your mother, aren't I? <laughs> Shoot me then. Pull the traitor so you can leave this godforsaken world as a martyr. <laughs> this is where your fate comes to an end! Emporio! <laughs> slower than if you were running on land! Jolene! I caught a dolphin in the stone ocean. No matter how fast time is going, every living creature is moving at its natural speed. And then there's you, Father Pucci. With your speed, you can probably catch up to this dolphin easily. But distance is what matters. You can reach us at close range. But how many meters can you keep on swimming for? 500 meters? Maybe even 800? How long can you last? Can you swim longer distances than a dolphin without getting tired? That has nothing to do with the flow of time. It's still the same distance whether you're picking something up or swimming. That doesn't change. And plus, it has to be at a distance where you can swim back to shore without drowning. I won't ever let you get away. This tiresome feud between us ends now! I can't have any trace of your existence in my future! Jolene! Climb the rope! Hurry up and go to the dolphin! Emporio, because of Anastasia sacrificing himself to protect my father, I'm still alive, but that's the only reason. Thanks to Ermus buying time attacking the priest, I was able to extend my rope to catch this dolphin. So guys, uh, I think I will end it from here. As you can see, there are some dolphins uh, helping out there, and uh, there is a lot of water everywhere. And yeah, it's before there is this kind of reset or something. Uh, I find it interesting that the dolphins are there at the very end of the universe. So, so, so to say in this uh, stone ocean series and um, yeah the series is not called it's not called uh, Green Dolphin Street it's just a reference to that there is this connection in the movie to that it's really fascinating anyhow guys uh, see you another time I'll, I'm leaving a link to that other video see you bye